My name is Amy Fredland. I'm a kindergarten through eighth grade teacher here at Oak Meadow. I'm Leslie Arnold, and I'm a kindergarten to eighth grade teacher here at Oak Meadow. Today, Amy and I are together to explore a bit of block crayons and drawing and uh, show how they're used through the curriculum. Block crayons were created so that the children could feel successful by giving them a nice, sturdy, thick crayon that their fingers can manipulate. Another great thing about block crayons is that they don't break easily. And this comes up very frequently when you are using thin stick crayons, particularly with a kindergarten age child. So, Leslie, we've got some blank paper. We do. It's always exciting <laughs> and sometimes a little bit intimidating. It can be helpful when children are first introduced to these crayons to just take a few moments and start talking about what you see. And often it can be helpful for children to have an, an image to go along with those sides. So maybe Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. <laughs> At Oak Meadow, we offer the children main lesson books. In their main lesson books, the children get to write and draw content from their daily lessons, and in that way, they are creating their own unique and individual textbook. Not only are we talking about what we learned, not only are we feeling one way or the other about it, but we're actually asking students to do something with those thoughts and those connections with the content matter. And oftentimes in the early grades, it's a picture. When I'm drawing with children, I often even just say, you know, while, while I'm making the grass, I'm thinking, what lives in the grass? Mm. What mm -hmm. kinds of things might be living there or what's underneath? As I've drawn this just small amount, I've rotated my crayon quite a bit. When I was using my green, I was using this big side, this papa bear edge. And then I found when I was starting to do the violet, I, I rotated it and now I'm using my mama bear edge. Okay. And, it, and it gives a different width, it gives a different gesture. I'm gonna use the edge and make a more of a limb where I, I go up and then kind of tip it a little mm -hmm. bit and I can make a Beautiful. line coming out for a twig. You can imagine those branches just reaching right out. When I'm using the block crayons, if I make a, a line that I'm not really happy with, it's easy to go over or around that to fluff it out a little bit to make the new shape that I was really aiming for, which if you're That's drawing true. just with a, a stick crayon or an outline, it's much harder to do that. So I find these to be very forgiving. Nice. So you're gonna put I would love on. to see how you do your leaves. I just take my Papa Bear side and I just start going around where my branches have been, making kind of a, a swooping round gesture. I know I'll layer on some orange and golden next. Oh, I see that I've got a little bit of red on my yellow crayon. Yep. And um, that's okay. Yep. Maybe it's a butterfly. I don't know, in the spring it would. It's a good way to clean your crayons too, is yep. just to take a piece of paper and I have my paper um, right back here, Leslie. If I get a crayon that's kind of got other colors on it, I would just take it and run it down, up and down, or maybe left to right to get those smudges off my crayon. Good idea. Just keep it maybe in the back of my book. And then it, it gets nice and clear yeah. again. Drawing from the inside out is one way we describe the technique of drawing that is available to someone who's using block crayons. So rather than outlining the circle of a head and drawing in a torso, perhaps in a rectangular form and adding on stick legs and arms, when you're drawing from the inside out, you're actually starting sort of in the middle of whatever shape you are trying to create. When I do a person, I use the mama bear edge or the mama bear surface, and I start drawing in circles, getting larger and larger and larger as we go out. And then I would draw with the same edge, this mama bear side, uh, the body, which I'm starting very light. I'm even having trouble seeing it right now. And that can be a little bit frustrating for students who are new to using block crayons. 
but I just keep going over, keeping in mind that it's going to get darker the more I do it, and it gives me the chance to really get the shape of the body, the torso that I'm looking for. And then I get to decide what kind of clothes my person has on. And I simply use my mama bear side and I go over the body shape that I put down with my golden. So there are so many ways to use block crayons and colored pencils in the Oak Meadow curriculum, and this has just been a small taste, wouldn't you say? A very small yeah, taste. Yeah. yeah. So if you are looking for more support for working with block crayons, we highly encourage you to connect with your Oak Meadow teacher, or just call the people at the Oak Meadow office. We have a wonderful team of helpful, energetic, positive people here at Oak Meadow who can get you matched up with some people who could who could support you in this journey. It really is a journey, I think. It definitely is. Yeah. Years. Years. <laughs> <laughs>